I wanted to do a quick video on this ISDT SC620 charger, smart charger that I just got. And I used it last night and uh, it almost caused my batteries, well, they did overheat. They were puffing. It was causing uh, erroneous currents to go to it when I set it on uh, six amps. But I was charging four of these bolts, these high voltage bolts. Uh, these are 850 milliamp hours each, and I was charging them at a 2S rate and parallel charging four of them on the board. So real quick, let me show you 3.7 volts. I just flew these in my little Rotorex Atom. 3.76 volts, 3.8 for the, the highest. So fairly balanced. Let me see if I can do this one handed. And then I'm going to start the charge. And if I go at a 2S rate, these are 850 milliamp hours. So uh, a, a, a 2S rate would be 3.4 amps. So let me change this to LiPo HV high volt, since these are high volt batteries. and change this to 3.4. And this is about half the current as I used before, so we'll see we'll see what it does here. So I just started the charge process. Slowly increasing the current. There you just saw it go up to 4 amps, 4.3, 4.7, 5 amps, 2.4. The amperage is just bouncing all over the place. 6.4. 6 6.4 volt amps. I mean, come on. That's more than twice what I put in there. That's ridiculous. As far as I'm concerned, this charger is garbage at charging at higher currents and I ordered the update uh, the cable to update the firmware on it to see if that does anything but at this point in time I wouldn't use this charger at all it is dangerous it will destroy your batteries and if you choose to use it take matters from your own, your own hands. Or if you're having a different experience than I am, let me know, give me feedback. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to hear if maybe this charger is defective or if all of them are this bad. Anyway, thanks for watching.